Hello everybody, welcome to an After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to teach you the basics of track mats and alphas. So there's an alpha mat and a luma mat when you're working with track mats. And I want to show you quickly how to get two track mats here. So down here at the bottom, there's a toggle switches and modes button. And click on that to get to this section here where it says TRKMAT that's your track mat so a track mat will enable you to take the alpha or the luma of your image or text or whatever you have that has an alpha on it or luminosity on it and it will allow you to take what's underneath it and apply it onto that layer so for example I could take I could show you right now that this uh, text right here has an alpha on it by going to this um, three red green blue circles here click on it and then come down to alpha and anything that's in an alpha that is white is going to end up being transparent and everything that is black is just going to be cut out so anything underneath this layer which is going to be my background layer is going to pop through on the white and not on the black so I will put it back onto the RGB here so we can see I'm gonna enable my layer again and I'm gonna show you how the alpha works on this Color does not matter when you're working with text with an alpha. So I'm going to come down to this um, button, to this drop down menu here, and make sure that your text is on top of your background. I'm going to come down to alpha matte, and we're going to see that the, what, the alpha there picked up what was underneath it, which was the background layer, and then everything else was cut out that's called a mat it's kinda like masking out things using the alpha of the object now if I just wanted to use that text to cut out of the background I would just come down to here and go to alpha inverted mat and you could see that the text is cut out if I come down to my transparency grid button here and click on it you can see that the alpha is indeed cutting out of the background so that's how you cut things out it's kinda of like the subtract of a mask so there's alpha mat which is like an add on your mask or the alpha inverted mat which is the subtract now I want to go over luma mats with you I'm gonna put this on no track mat again and enable the eye here because once you enable a track mat for something above it it ne it turns off the uh, eye there uh, it turns off its visibility and a luma mat bases the mat track mat on the luminosity of the object meaning how close it is to black and how close it is to white kinda like how bright or dark it is so the way I'm going to show you that is I'm going to add this four color gradient onto the text. I'm going to click on the effect and here we have black over here on the left which is dark which means that's not going to show up when we try to use our luma mat. And over here is more white. That's going to show up even more when we use our luma mat. So I'll show you real quick. Let's change this to luma mat and now you can see here that everything that was black doesn't show up and as it gets closer to white it's now showing up even more let's uh, change the opposite invert luma inverted mat now it's just cutting out but the white part is cutting out more than the black part so when you have something that's darker, it's not going to be affected as much by a luma mat. When it's whiter, it's going to 
be affected by the lumina luma mat even less. Or even more, I, I'm sorry, even more when it's white. Now, if I come down to here and check out my alpha of this with the four color gradient on it, it's still the same. So the Luma and the Alpha are completely different things. They just use the same kind of color values on here that the, uh, they just use the black and white color values to demonstrate what's going on and use what's getting cut out or what's getting faded out or what's getting replaced, etc.